us the media was interviewing you. Uh, or I saw a clip where Siggy calls you Chopper. Can you tell me, if that, is that your nickname and how did that come to be? Yeah, I actually got that in Ottawa last year. Uh, I think it came up with, obviously my last name is Helberg, and they call me Heli. And then Heli became Helicopter, and then Helicopter became Chopper. So, yeah, I guess uh, Crosby talked to some of the guys in Ottawa, and they kind of told him what they called me last year, and they liked it here too. So now I think it's going around in the room here as well. So leave it up to the captain to do the investigation route to find out what your nickname is. I guess so. I mean, I, I think it's a pretty good nickname to be honest with you, so I, I don't mind it. With the thought that we can see you again tomorrow, so you don't know what your status is. How much do you look forward to the opportunity to get back there and start a game with the NHL? Yeah, obviously, uh, when you know you're starting a game, you it's always nice, you know, like uh, instead of just getting thrown in there. Uh, that's kind of what you want, and I plan for it. Uh, but obviously, we don't know what's going on with George, so we'll see what happens. When you look at your resume and all those, the teams that you play for, having been around, has that made you stronger mentally? Uh, maybe shaped you as the kind of goaltender that you are, knowing that you have to play a little bit more at an edge? Yeah, I, I, I think so, for sure. Uh, as I said, I've been in a lot of teams, but uh, I was here for a couple of years and then I went to play in the KHL for, for a bunch of years and had a great time there. And obviously I'm really happy to be back now in the States. And I feel like coming back to the States, it takes a little bit longer to, to get back into it and show everybody here what I can do. And, you know, every, every opportunity I get to showcase myself, who I am as a goalie and uh, as a, who I am as a person, it's always great. So, you know, I just uh, try to live in the moment and, and uh, play my part in all this. You've been working with, with Kyoto for a bit. Has he tweaked anything, improved anything, you know, from sort of the season to now, where he's just kind of showcasing what, what you can do? Yeah, obviously I think Andy is a, is a really good goalie coach. And I'm really happy I, I work with him every day now. And, uh, there's some small details that we've been that he's been in, in implementing in my game a little bit that I really like to have in my toolbox as well. Uh, there's a couple of things with the reverse, with the, uh, the post work, and, and other details as well. But no, I think it's uh, it's been great. I love my relationship with with Andy for sure. How did you like, how did you improve when you were playing? Like, you clearly think you came back a better goalie. Like, are there tangible things you can point to and you say, okay, like, my time there, I brought this here, and, and this is why I'm having better results? <laughs> yeah, I think uh, obviously as a goal, it's uh, it takes a little bit longer to develop sometimes, but I feel like. Uh, it's, it's tough mentally to play over there in that league. They have some really good players as well, but I feel like I became more calm. I had better patience. I played more on my feet and let the, the game come to me a little bit. So uh, obviously I played a lot of games there as well. I was a starter for a couple of years there. Uh, played some really good playoff hockey every year there as well. So no, I think that my time there was uh, really good. Every every hockey journey is different, you know. I started here for five years, up and down a little bit. Didn't quite make it as I wanted, so I went a different route, and now I'm I'm back here. Normally, people maybe do the the, the other way around; they finish overseas. But no, I'm I'm happy with how my journey is so far.